hello guys welcome back to another brand new tutorial in the civil unboxing channel first of all we would like to inform you that uh, today i have uh, taken an example of how we can calculate the interlock paper block required for a thousand square feet area suppose we are having a land of thousand square feet then the, how we can calculate the numbers of paper blocks required as per our requirement okay na so let's see the dimensions and uh, you know, go through the calculation part and we can easily understand that how many numbers of a pivot blocks are uh, we are go going to use in that thousand square feet area okay as we already know the size and shapes of the bricks are uh, regular in size that is in rectangular size but in case of pivot block these pivot blocks are not in regular shape and size okay so here i have taken an examples of interlocking paper block there are so many types of paper block uh, which are regularly used in our regular construction such as hexagonal circular okay and in out of which the, there is also zigzag pattern paper blocks are also there so today i have taken an example for interlocking paper block let's see the numbers of total paper block required for this thousand square feet area and how we can estimate total numbers of paper blocks so let's start the topic as we already seen uh, as we already seen in the picture that we are having the width of 160 mm okay and the length of 200 mm so the total gross area we have to first of all calculate first of all gross area a1 is nothing but l that means length and meter uh, in meter and width that is b in meter also so what i have done here that length equals to 200 millimeter divided by 1000 means it converts to from millimeter to meter okay similarly in case of width we have taken also 160 millimeter divided by 1000 so it's come about 0 0.16 meter so here just multiplying all these terms we we have got the total area of a1 as 0 0.032 square meter okay na? now we have to calculate the l1 b1 h l1 b1 and h h is nothing but height okay so as this diagram that is an interlocking paper block there is uh, two types of dimensions that is at in trapezium shape okay here upper half portion there is a trapezium shape and uh, lower half portion also having a trapezium shape okay so for l1 dimension we have to take the dimension such as total minus 40 minus 40 means here uh, total distance uh, length is equals to 200 millimeter and this portion from here to here it is 40 mm and here to here this is 40 mm okay so we have to minus this both side 40 mm 40 mm so after subtracting the 40 mm 40 mm equals to 80 mm 200 minus 80 mm that is we got as that is we got as 120 mm okay 120 mm l1 nothing but 120 mm we got and similarly in the lower part of that is l2 part of trapezium we got it as 200 mm minus of 120 mm nothing but 80 mm okay and for height we take in as 160 mm total width minus of 120 mm so here after uh, subtracting 120 mm the middle width of the paper block we can easily uh, take uh, or get the value of height that is 20 mm for each side of the trapezium trapezoidal shape okay so these are the value we got easily now um, we have to calculate the trapezoidal sectional area that is a2 so for trapezoidal sectional area we are having l1 b1 h in meter height and numbers equals to 2 means here that is the one portion 
and here is the on portion these two portion we have to remove from the total gross area of the paper block okay so how we can calculate as we know so trapezoidal sectional area a2 becomes l1 plus l2 whole sum of divided by 2 multiply with a. so this is the required trapezoidal sectional area formula and after calculate and substituting all those values we can easily get as 0.004 square meter for this uh, upper half portion of the trapezium and lower half portion of the trapezium total gross area of a2 equals to 0.004 square meter then we have to find out the actual area in a square meter that is actual area means as the actual area comes by uh, sub, uh, subtracting all these value of trap, upper half trapezium shape and lower half trapezium shape okay so we have to deduct all these values from 0 0.032 a1 square meter and trapezoidal area equals to 0 0.004 then we can easily get the value of 0 0.028 square meter so this is the required sectional area of the interlocking paper block okay as per our specified dimension next we have to find out the actual area in a square feet as we are having the plot of thousand square feet area plot means we have to lay the interlocking paper blocks in thousand square feet area so here the unit is in a square feet so that's why we are going to uh, convert this square meter total actual area 0.08 to into a square feet value so we have to just simply calculate uh, the or simply multiply the actual area in a square meter of 0 0.028 into 10.764 this is the conversion formula for this from a square meter to a square feet okay so it comes about 0 0.301 a square feet now the numbers of paper block required equals to total equals to 1000 square feet area 1000 square feet divided by each block each block having the area of 0 0.0301 square feet so we got as total numbers of paper block equals to 3318 numbers and as the wastage having the 5% wastage value because uh, due to handling of this paper block or uh, some about broken parts of the paper block so we must consider the five percent is a wastage value for this so after five percent uh, adding the uh, wastage value we can total the number of 166 so total numbers after uh, finalizing the uh, five percent wastage value to the total numbers of paper block so after adding the five percent wastage value plus the numbers of paper block we can uh, assume the total numbers of block required for uh, 1000 square feet area equals to 3484 numbers of blocks interlocking paper blocks so now to know about the uh, how many numbers of paper block required per square feet so here is the formula that is uh, for the total numbers of interlocking paper block divided by 1000 so we got it as 3.5 nearly okay so remember that these 3.5 numbers of paper blocks are including with 5% wastage so we can easily say that for a one square feet area we just need uh, three and a half numbers of paper block okay so i hope you can easily understand uh, by this step by step process about how we can calculate the numbers of paper block required for a thousand square feet area so i think you have got already a clear idea regarding this topic i have made this entire topic in, in the excel sheet format if you are interested to take this uh, excel sheet then please ping me in the comment box uh, and please provide your email number i will definitely try to send by this email okay so thanks for watching and listening to this interesting topic see you soon in the next one thank you